Hello YouTube, this is Fun Reviews, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a servo motor box lock. Here's what you need. An Arduino Uno with a breadboard. Over 20 jumper cables. An RGB LED or just a couple of normal LEDs. 5 push buttons. 1 piezo. An IFO battery with a battery snap. 1 100 mu F capacitor. 3 220 ohm resistors and 5 10 kilo ohm resistors. A cable that you can use to connect your Arduino Uno to the computer. A small servo motor. And a small box that you don't mind making holes in. You'll also need a computer with Arduino software. Connect the 5 volt and the ground pin on the Arduino to the breadboard. Now place 5 push buttons on the breadboard as shown. Now connect each push button to power on the right side. Make sure to place the jumper cables as shown so that the person has space to press the buttons. Now connect the other side of your push button to ground with a 10 kilo ohm resistor. This resistor makes sure that your digital pin will read low if the button is not pressed. Now we'll be connecting your push buttons to the digital pins. Remember that the jumper cable goes in the same row as the 10 kilo ohm resistor. Connect the rightmost button or button number 1 to pin number 9, 10, 3, 7, and 4. Now place the RGB LED on the breadboard. Keep the ground pin of the LED on row 3. Connect the LED to ground. Connect the other 3 pins of the LED to the other side using 220 ohm resistors. Make sure that the resistors go over the middle row. Now connect the pin of the LED that is in row 1 to digital pin number 6, the one in row 2 to digital pin number 5, and the one in row 4 to digital pin number 11. Now place the piezo in the location shown. Connect one of its pins to ground and the other pin to the digital pin number 8 on the Arduino. Now place the servo motor right in front of the piezo. Connect the black cord to ground, the white cord to digital pin number 2 on the Arduino, and the red cord to power. Finally, place the capacitor over here to smooth out any voltage changes. Make sure to plug it in right or it might explode. Plug in the anode to the positive end and the cathode to the negative one. Now you're done with the Arduino part. Now take out your box. Cut one hole in the box for the cords to come out of the servo motor. Then measure the height of the servo motor and on that level cut another hole in the box. Then on the top of the box cut another hole so that the uh, top holes here line up. Now unplug the servo motor from the breadboard remembering its original location. Make sure that the cords are going out of the hole that you've cut previously in the box and that the servo motor can turn back and forth freely. Tape the servo motor into position. Congratulations, you're done. Now you can copy the code that I have in the description and upload it to your Arduino Uno board. Uh, you can connect the battery and everything should work. You can now put the lid back on the box and enter the password. One, two, three, four, five, going from the from right to left. Then after five seconds, the servo motor will rotate back and everything works. And if you enter the wrong password, then this happens. And if you want to edit the password or you, if you want to edit the code because you're using multiple LEDs and not one, you can certainly go and do that. And if you want me to go into detail what, how I wrote this code and how it works, you can go watch my next video. That The link should be in the description once I've uploaded it. Thanks for watching, guys. See ya.